As the executor of Mr. Muldoon's estate, I have been empowered to read Mr. Muldoon's last will and testament. Well, get on with it. The bar's open soon. <laughs> oh, poor dear Arthur. Ah! Oh, there, there, Jenny. God, how predictably boring. I never work for a kinder man. If we are all seated, I shall proceed with the reading. I knew it. <laughs> I, Arthur Durham Muldoon, being of sound mind and body... That's a laugh. <laughs> ...do hereby divide up my considerable estate as follows. To my overly emotional sister, Jenny... <laughs> Jenny, darling, he's talking about us. Oh. ...who grubbed with her husband, Hank, grubbed for everything they could get from me, and then cried crocodile tears when I needed sympathy. What? To Jenny, I leave a boot to the head. A what? <laughs> Jenny, are you okay? And another boot to her wimpy husband, Hank. Ow! <laughs> this is an outrage. Ah, uh, but still, you are my sister. You have both admired my Rolls Royce, and since I no longer need it... Oh, dear Arthur, he's too kind. I bequeath another boot to the head. What? Ow! <laughs> and one more for the wimp. Ow! <laughs> Next to my alcoholic brother... Hey, I don't want no boot to the head. <laughs> To dear Hedge, who has never worked a day in his drunken life... I'm covering up my head. I leave my wine cellar and three crates of my finest whiskey. Really? And a boot to the head. Oh! And another for Jenny in the wind. Oh! oh! Next, to my know-it-all nephew, Ralston... This is so predictable. I leave a boot to the head. Oh, I knew it. And one for Jenny in the wind. This takes care of family obligations. And now to Mrs. Mulroy. Oh, I don't want nothing. Who took care of me faithfully these many, many years. Who cared, made me laugh, brought me tea. Oh, I didn't mind. To Mrs. Mulroy, I bequeath a boot to the head. Oh. And one for Jenny in the wind. Ah. Oh. And so to my cat mittens, I leave my entire vast boot to the head. And finally, to my lawyer, who has helped me on this will, I leave not a boot to the head, but a rabid Tasmanian devil to be placed in his trousers. Oh! Oh! And, and, and I leave my entire estate of $10 million to the people of Calgary so they can afford to move somewhere decent. Is that it? That's it? That's disgraceful. Oh. There's one last thing for everyone. Cover your heads, everybody. <laughs> I leave everyone a lifetime supply of ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. That's all? That's all. Well, what flavor is it? Boot to the head. <laughs> <laughs>